a flagship was just birthed. <laughs> it would just birth into the world. What is that? <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, who's here just out of curiosity for the Sony A12? Who is excited about it? Because I have a feeling that Brandon's about to go in. I feel like Cam Mackey's going to go in. But before they go in, and maybe they don't, I'm assuming, but before they go in, I want to know who's excited about the A12. Okay? Just let us know in the chats. You're here for it. You're thinking about buying. You're just talking. Let us know. But Brandon, can you just tell me your your thoughts about the A12 when it dropped? Well, or was I think, announced? I think before we do that, let's let's pull up the specs. Okay. Let's pull up the specs. Let's I want to I want to come to this camera <laughs> with a <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is uncensored, so don't get mad at us, all right? Look, I I legitimately want to come to this camera with a clear mind, mm -hmm. a clear idea of what Sony was trying to do. Yep. Uh, so before we trash it, and I'm not saying we're going to trash it. I'm neutral. I, I want, let's let's talk about the specs first, and then let's also talk about what, uh, what actually changed. Okay. A 50 megapixel full frame stacked. CMOS sensor, mm. which I have heard, not confirmed, it is the same sensor from the Sony A1. Okay? Yeah. 8K30, 4K120, 10-bit. Is that new or is that old? That's new. That says, uh, Chris, just, are you talking about this or are you talking about what you're saying? Oh, no. That's new. That's new. Hey, we've never seen this before. Dude, Chris Scott, you are the very first. First member, very first member of Uncensored. Hey, we, we would like that. to immortalize this moment. Yes, we're gonna immortalize this moment. <gasps> what is that? That's dude, something new. You got to wait dude, to figure out how that works. Chris, thank you. Shout out to you, Chris. So, uh, 8K30. Yes. 4K 120. Mm -hmm. All right. It's got pre capture and a speed boost button, dude. One thing that I've heard that's really good about this is the EVF. It is a 9.44 million dot EVF with a 240 refresh rate. I got to I got They said it's true to life. Look, when you talk about Sony, mm -hmm. there's a lot of things you can say. Yes. They make amazing PlayStations. Yes. They make amazing TVs. Yes. So them having the technology to make a really good screen. Why is it taking so long? Why is it taking so long? <laughs> Look, when we I know we we bash Panasonic for a lot of things. Maybe they should get back to making TVs. So then mm -hmm. that way their EVS will be better. I don't know. Wow. Just keep going. Wild. I'll let you keep going. <laughs> Wild. I would hit the hot take button, but it's already been hit. <laughs> okay. And then probably the most notable thing since then. Yeah. there The AI chip for human tracking and AI and autofocus and that sort of stuff. That's been upgraded. And it is a maybe three stop boost in IBIS. That's the big things. Yes. So before I before I destroy this, uh, we are the this is this is actually really important. This is the reason why we do this show live. Yes. Because we actually want to talk with you guys and we love when you guys like catch us on our mistakes. Mm -hmm. I gotta I gotta pull something back. Our first member was actually JR Media House. <gasps> and that is huge. Dude. That is huge because JR, we see you every single week. 100%. Early, too. And so, my mistake for missing that, but we appreciate you. You are the first member now. You are the first <laughs> member. You are the first member, and we appreciate you for that. Dude, I'm going to tell you, we are going to feel very dear, near and dear to the top 10. Yeah. I'm just like, we're going to love all, we're going to love any, if you're the 300th member, we're going to love you. But JR, you're number one. Yes. Uh, all right. So, Here's my here's my take quickly. Here's my quick take on the the new Sony. Mm -hmm. Okay. I believe that it is in a vacuum. Mm -hmm. The best, okay? Hear me clearly. Mm -hmm. It is the best flagship currently on the market. What vacuum are we in? Uh explain this vacuum. <clears throat> so when you look at just the camera, 
All flagships? Yes, looking at the flagships, but I'm talking about when you judge the Sony A set no the A12 mm-hmm. by itself. Mm-hmm. Currently, I don't think Panasonic has a better flagship. Okay. I don't think Canon has a defined flagship. Mm-hmm. And I will probably say that the closest competitor is probably Nikon's Z9. Yeah. And I'm and I'm thinking like the Z9 is very close. Mm-hmm. As and like what's crazy is like the Z9 has been out for two years almost. Mm-hmm. I think that Sony did a really good job with this to be their flagship. Mm-hmm. I think the problem that Sony is having, and I'm very interested to hear your take on on this, is the problem that I think that Canon's probably going to have next year mm-hmm. is that. La- their last generations of cameras are so good. Mm-hmm. The A1, the FX3, A7S3, the A7 IV, even though it has a really slow readout, so eh, maybe not that one. Jello. But the A7R, their last iteration of cameras are so good, they might be in a state of where there's just not enough technology to fully justify a upgrade. Mm-hmm. But they know they got to release cameras in order to make stock mar- stock owners happy. Mm-hmm. But I think this is also why we're just seeing a bunch of software updates for a lot of cameras because there's not a whole lot to actually do. Mm-hmm. So even though in a vacuum, I think that the A7 5 or the A7 II is a great camera, mm-hmm. it doesn't live in that vacuum. Yes. And so all you can do is say, oh, well, how does it compare to the last model? How does it compare to other cameras? And that's where I think a lot of Sony shooters in particular, because I don't think most other people actually really care, Mm -hmm. because the truth is is that this camera is probably out of the price range of 85% of the market. And then 5% of the market that could afford it probably has better options elsewhere. So it's really only maybe 10% of people who are really looking at this camera actually plan on actually buying it. Mm -hmm. Those people are going to look at last year's model. Maybe they're already owners of last year's model, or maybe they're on one of the other Sony cameras and they're thinking about going up to the flagship. Mm -hmm. I don't think that they, when they look at it outside of that vacuum, that's the only time where I look at this camera and like people are like, you didn't do anything. This is really like a 1.5 upgrade, Mm -hmm. right? Like it's not a true update when it comes to a brand new camera. I think that like, I think that eventually like this camera will, once it gets into the hands of photographers, no one's going to be mad about it. Everyone's going to like it. It's a good camera, but it's just tough when you have to look at the other cameras in the market, especially its predecessor, and you got to ask yourself, so you put it in a better body? Mm-hmm. And you gave it better autofocus? But who was complaining about last year's autofocus? Like, the last camera's autofocus. Yeah. So, like, yeah. I think that's where a lot of people are really upset. I'm not really super upset because I'm not buying. Yeah. But when I look at the camera, I do see why Sony shooters are upset. But, like, at the same time, Sony has worked really, really hard to, like, own the mirrorless market as much as they can. But now they're kind of at the top of, like, the ceiling. Mm -hmm. And there's not a lot of room to go. And I think that's where a lot of people are frustrated. Yeah. No, I can see that. I'm going to start off light on my opinion because, for whatever reason, I go back and watch the clips or the replay of the stream. And I'm like, man, it sounds like I'm going hard on Sony. I will say this feels like the best Sony camera to date in the mirrorless line. This is a true flagship. It's nice. I think if you didn't own an A1 Mark I, this camera is a Mm no-brainer. If it does what you need it to do Mm -hmm. and you have the money, it's going to be incredible. It begins to get a little confusing for me if you're an A1 Mark I owner. Yeah. Does it justify an upgrade to the A2, A12? It, it feels like to me with the same sensor in an AI chip, like, like you said, nobody was complaining about autofocus before. Maybe people didn't love the EVF in the screen. So that's kind of nice. Maybe they didn't love the ergonomics. But is that worth $6,500? So I would say I think a lot of people, if you're buying it, I think you're absolutely going to be happy with it. Looks like it's going to be great photo and video. You're not going to have 
any quality issues. If it looks like trash, you might be trash. <laughs> Not our audience. Our audience is highly Skill. educated. <laughs> yes. They highly know what they're educated. Doing. They know what they're doing. But if uh, if you just buy this camera and it looks like trash, it's probably on you. I'm just going to put that there. But I will say this for me. It's a little bit of a head scratcher. As a Canon fan person, all right? The Canon R5 Mark II. We just read out those specs, right? Yeah. 50 megapixels. Yeah. Okay. The R5 II has 45. Five less megapixels. Are you really going to notice that? Probably not. Okay. Check this out. That upgraded A1, not A1 Sony A1, but that that top tier autofocus in the R1 and the R5 Mark II. Are, are we really going to tell a difference in the autofocus between the two? Probably not. It shoots the A1 Mark II shoots uh 8K 30. Yeah. What is the R5 II shooting? 8K 60 raw internal? Yeah. The big thing. How much is the A1 Mark II? $6500 and the R5 Mark II is that's kind of a, and this is where we just get a little bit hotter. You have, Sony has to release wait, a Burano. Wait, are you, are you making a hot you take? Sure. Are you hitting a hot take? Sure. You can hit it. Hey, hey, it's a hot take. Sony has to release a Burano. <laughs> it's necessary. They have to do innovation with the A9 III. It's necessary. They need a flagship. It's necessary. Ain't nobody want those cameras. I don't think that's no one wants those cameras. N the people. No, it's not for everybody. The people. I, I I agree with you. I don't think that this camera is for everyone. Here's here's my take though when it comes to flagships. You are right. If you compare the A12 to the R5 for Canon, it's about the same, right? They mm -hmm. they they're very similar to each other, but it's a different type of ladder and that's like kind of where like i like i've got on to nikon about this before i've got on to sony about it i've got on to canon about it i think as users within an ecosystem it helps to have a ladder and a very clear space mm -hmm. apple has killed it in the technology space yep these camera brands like like nikon this year has sort of helped pad out their ecosystem where it's like oh you have z9 you have z8 you have z63 then you have Z7, uh, and then it's like moving on down, right? Sony got in trouble for a long time for releasing way too many cameras mm -hmm. that, you know, the most expensive camera didn't have this feature, didn't have that feature because they came out with a cheaper camera later that had more features in it. Yeah. So I think this was their sort of like response to that, where it's like, all right, look, our flagship now, our last sensor trumps everybody else's sensor that's currently on the market. Right. Yep. So because it trumps everybody else's on the market, we need to use that sensor again mm -hmm. because it's cheaper. Yeah. We know that's the reason. Yeah. But we need to throw all these new AI features in here and we need to in improve the ergonomics because, well, we got a bunch of, uh, <laughs> what, what was the global shutter camera? The A93. The A9, we got a bunch of A93 bodies that ain't going nowhere. <laughs> so we got to figure out how to do something but with Brandon, that. But Brandon, do you really trust? Do you really trust that Sony next year is not going to release what the A seven five is that it? That should be the next one. On That's the road not going to have a feature that the A one two is going to have. No, I don't think yeah, you don't really trust <laughs> I that. Don't really hey, thanks so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button. It's absolutely free, and you're not going to want to miss any other content we have on this channel. And if you did not enjoy this video, you probably shoot Sony. So that's all I'm going to say. <laughs>